Assalamualaikum guys. I am Mohammad Ali Fasan and you are watching Game Grown Studios. Um, today I am going to reveal all the details about my PC and everything. Well, first of all, I will show you my old card which uh, which got burned. This uh, they told me it's the main IC behind the street saying uh, it's totally down. They tried to fix it but it was giving me you know polygons of RGBs all the way. So it's actually gone. So. And, and the 3D card is actually disposable so that you can repair it well. And this is a uh, GT650, it has a 2GB of memory and one to, it is one to 8-bit card. It has a CUDA core of 3, 8, 83 to 93 CUDA core, maximum you can guess it, it is in between this video. So in the card, it was able, uh, I was able to play games with this card and uh, actually I like games like uh, Far Cry 4 and um, Assigned Unity and uh, even Battlefield Hardline, I was even able to get it played on medium graphic on uh, uh, 960 resolution, uh, 1280 by 960. It, uh, and it ran like 30 FPS, and it was like okay, it was literally okay, no problem at all. Because I'm packing a 16 GB of RAM in my PC, that's why. Well, uh, let's get to the next card, which uh, which is a new one. Well, I'm using right now uh, ASOS R7 OC. It is an overclock ready card, but I'm not really overclocking it right now. It is a 1 to 8 bit card, yep, same as before, but it is a high end one in 1 to 8 bit ratio. Well, it is a 1, 8, 1 to 8 bit card, with, uh, with, uh, which is, uh, it is actually AMD card, so the CUDA cores don't uh, come in AMD. It's an NVIDIA, NVIDIA ratio is CUDA core, and the Steam processors is AMD ratio. So it is a 768. Uh, um, a, a, a sense state is steam core uh, processors and if you convert uh, the uh, steam processors to CUDA cores it will be like something like uh, 600 CUDA cores something like that yep it's something like that it has a 2 GB of RAM and uh, it's a really high end thing something like that the steam processors literally affect because uh, the card is bigger and it's performing well no, I will give you something about the two. Well, the um, rest of it I have 16 GB of RAM. I have two separate drives. Uh, one is 1 TB, the second one is 320 GB. I have um, a card, you, you have all reviewed it. I have a processor of uh, 3.4 GHz, which is i3 and i3. And uh, I have power supply, which is VS650. And it's a cost of power supply. Uh, I just bought it because we got the card because it requires 150 watt extra. 6 bit, yeah. I wanted to say that because you guys should ask maybe. So, and the rest of it is a standard keyboard, and I have a gaming headset, which is actually a Afrotech G501. It, it's a 7.1 surround headset for gaming. It has three uh, multiple modes 2.1, 7.1, and a gaming mode in which uh, you can actually, uh, you know, by the software, you can variable, uh, there are variables for everything. Uh, foot noise, gun noise, and everything, every kind of that kind of stuff. So, and it close. You can see that it close. Well, I have a gaming mouse, uh, which is actually from Apple again. It is a V2M. It has uh, two cores. I don't know what else that does, but it's working fine on 2K resolution. And it has uh, a software for controlling it too. So, it's actually good. And it has triple, uh, multiple firing moves. Uh, there are one uh, that means a uh, left click once and the far ones you will select this button that it will turn green and it will, you will uh, click one and it will fire twice third button is yellow you will click once and it fire twice but it's good and it has two red buttons here and a total of eight buttons I think and um, it runs smooth I have a standard keyboard and a 24 inch display which I can tell and uh, I'm running 2K resolution on it fine I don't have any problem with it and uh, I have a normal local gamepad. Well, usually uh, games ask for a you know Xbox 360 controller, or PC controller. That I don't have that kind of stuff, so I use the use third-party apps to control that kind of thing on my gamepad. Usually, yeah, there are apps. I will uh, if you want guys that likes me, I will tell you how to do that. It's really easy actually. Let's get to the details of my PC in a closer way. So guys, this is how my PC looks when you only look at the unit. So well guys, that's my PC uh, laying on the ground. Just to show you guys how everything looks inside and uh, um, there you go. 
Um, there you go, my card in focus. That's a R7360 OC with dual fan. It really doesn't make much noise. Uh, currently, I'm using it for playing um, GD5 and uh, Battery Hardline and uh, Asanga Syndicate. And, yep, I have played the game for six hours continuously and uh, I've checked the temperature ratio on every after every two hours and it was um, nearly on 69 to 70. Uh, 69 to uh, 77 yeah it doesn't get a uh, crash on the threshold and never never get, got above 80 and uh, never passed uh, 82 well to be saying about uh, you know the MD card so here are my two rams um, there you go you can see them here two and there the, my processor and as I was saying about the connectors of you know eight pin and six pin that is a six pin connected here as you can see here and then there are two pins extra as you can see to make it 8 pin so there you go and there is my power supply that I was talking about there's my Corsair power supply here and there are 650 watts and um, it has actually it has um, six, 8 pin and 8 pin 2 connectors like this which I was just showing you to this kind of connector so I can connect actually I can connect uh, um, Titan Z, I think so because I Titan Z takes up to 375 watts and uh, my PC runs on, except its card, um, but runs on, you know, 270 to 269 watts. So I think I can run it. Um, well, there are my two drives. Hard drives. That one is 1 TV, that one is uh, 320. And that's all, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, that's all. So, well, guys, this is the. Uh, that gets a of the of the video that uh, how well my card and the system performs well this is a uh, Parafield uh, hardline and i am playing it on you know on ultra graphics as you can see here and 180p it is the latest game released a little while ago sorry for that i'm just going to show you my graphics i would really like in the gameplay because i'm watching the camera shoot this thing right so this is here yeah, as you can see here 180p um, let me zoom in for you. Mm -hmm. There you go, 180p, and everything is ultra here. You can see nearly everything ultra. And the other thing is stuff because it lags me up a little bit. And 180p, my system, my it is it because of resolution of 180p. I don't think it's necessary to use it, but it's nice to have it. But my card isn't that heavy. It's heavy, not that heavy. So. It's performing very well on ultra graphics. I will say, I get the 180p. I think say, I will say that uh, it's a really good choice to buy this card. It is because it's cheap, and as you can see, it's running really fine. Uh, where the hell these guys are? I seriously have to <laughs> peep here. So, okay, I died. So here it is. It is still smooth. I will go into the things, you know. It's loading, yep. One flat gun. And now I will look now. I'll just play it while we're looking around the hell. Oh, these guys got so many smarter. These guys are not as many smarter back then. When I was playing that game for the first time, I was like getting into everything without any problem. So, there will be two guys here. Nope. Where did all these guys go? I think it went towards the other guy on the side, you know? Oh, we have guys here. Oh, hello! You're going to die this time because I'm here from the behind. Oh, backside, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry very much. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, stop it. I can see you. Getting a person from the other side of the glass is really easy. Okay guys, this is NFS Travels and um, this game is running, I can show you here. It is running on Ultra Graphics. Right now 180p. Yep. 180p ultra 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 and I have everything high okay on the upper left corner where you can see 13 29 that's the FPS FPS going on so we're gonna put it like this and let's play the game 
Yep. Fear is running with 30 FPS, nearly 30 FPS on every kind of single angle. Even in forest, high texture, low texture, no problem. Game is running just fine. Fine, without any problem. I was never able to run this game on the last card. Higher than when you do or since you stay in the lowest graphics. It was giving me variable playable ratios, but you know. I'm better on this game because I play this game a lot. I love this game actually. And there you go, the you know turbo that effect which got a turbo it was like amazing. I never saw this game like this when I was with my Alice card, so I'll just show you. Uh, well guys, this is GTA 5 and uh, as you can see it's running on 45 to 30 FPS in minimum and 45 FPS in maximum. Well, there are the settings of this game. Graphics. And let's zoom in a little. You see 180p there. Yep. And below um, there are graphics like you. Yeah. Well, I turn off the mass and idealizing and vsync i don't like vsync and everything focus i have on and everything distance and everything is high i think it's very high very high and which needs uh, that i should have get something bigger so wait uh, i will just uh, get the thumb zoom out and you can see the you know the fps on this game is running fine yep Okay, I just crashed. Um, now there will be something like uh, the car reflection and everything. No, nothing is lagging. Everything is Lagging. just going. It just leave the things going on the upper left corner because they are showing the right FPS on which the game is being played. So in the camera, I just looked at right there and it's sort of looking very slow. That uh, just like I just posted, um, you know, the video. A little while back about uh, the jewelry store, a jewelry uh, shop, a uh, robbery thing. Uh, yep, I, uh, I posted a video about it. I, rec I record the whole mission, how I played it. With the D6 still is killed the uh, crew. And they screwed everything up till the end. Uh, yep. And I got out of it. And then I recorded it and then I edited it. And then I uploaded it. You guys can check it out on my page. Game with Studios. Uh, if you guys are one. You know, well, this year the Sanky Syndicate released on 19 November. On the day on which I brought this PC, well, it is running uh, 28 uh, FPS and average and 30 FPS max, minimum and maximum. And uh, as you can see in the options, I'm going right here on video settings and uh, in display. I'm not running it on 180p, I'm running it on 1280 by 960 and um, the graphics are not all ultra but they are high on the uh, environmental quality texture quality is high everything is high i played the whole game it's not that bad it's good as you can see 27 26 oh, 19 then go 32 once you um, were indoors or something like that or well oh, i was pressing f um, playing GTA or 62, so see, you get down on FPS, but you know, it's playable. And if you reduce the graphics to medium to low, it runs just fine. It runs uh, like okay, now you can play the game. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. I've t told you every kind of uh, pros and cons of my PC, gave complete detail, and all the performance tests I have done. I will show you every single kind of you know, performance speed and performance about new games and stuff on the camera because if I would be recording on the fraps, it would reduce the FPS obviously and it would not give you guys a perfect result but that's why I was earning fraps uh, on the upper left corner well there are um, all the reveals done uh, if you guys ever want to ask any kind of details or any questions about my PC uh, yeah, you are welcome to comment below and uh, ask me about anything and uh, I will be posting a few things more um, in, a, in a little while uh, a few reviews or so and uh, so keep watching our page and please do like our page our page is Game Room Studios the extension is www.facebook.com slash Game Grim Official 
so please like our page until then see you guys assalamualaikum